and lift off. Against the backdrop of a cloudy sky, NASA's Psyche spacecraft blasted off on an unprecedented six-year mission to orbit and study an asteroid called Psyche. Vehicles pitching down range. We get kind of focused on the big planets, but there's an awful lot more of these smaller objects, and they come in all different flavors and types, and they tell us different parts of the solar system story. NASA has visited asteroids before, but not like this one. It could be the leftover core of a planet, which may tell us more about our own. It's mostly metallic, like this iron meteorite here. Planetary geologist Gordon Osinski is following this mission closely. We've explored icy and rocky worlds literally all over the solar system, but this is the first time we're going to what we call an M-type or metallic asteroid. This mission will also provide data for understanding another future industry, space mining. When it comes to asteroids, we're really interested in a group of elements we call the PGEs. Those are the platinum group elements. We need PGEs for batteries, for solar panels. Well, hurry up! If you think this sounds like an episode of the cult sci-fi show The Expanse, you're not wrong. But space mining startups say the industry won't be science fiction for long. Space mining is definitely going to happen. It is an inevitability. A Psyche, for instance, has a exponentially larger amount of precious metals than we can find on our entire planet. Recent estimates put the possible worth of the Psyche asteroid at 10,000 quadrillion US dollars. That's more than Earth's entire economy. This is a future industry that we could own as Canadians. Though mining asteroids may not happen in our lifetime, it's likely we will mine the moon within decades for water to be turned into rocket fuel or resources for future astronauts. In this early prospecting phase of asteroid mining right now, and so this will be an exciting opportunity to yeah, answer some of those early questions. Hoping the answers will open the door to a space economy. Nicole Mortolero, CBC News, Toronto.